Alright, we're back with a different sound chip. This time we're using General Instruments AY38912, which can be seen right here. Uh, notice I've added a couple buffers here uh, in between so we can send the correct commands and data to it. Also, uh, on the AY8912, we have these I.O. ports that we can connect um, different things to. I've connected a number of LEDs here that will represent which keyboard key is pressed. So you can see the jumper wires going over to the data lines of the 6502 and all the big massive mess. Um, this area actually right here is a boost regulator, so we can actually boost up to 12 volts, which is used in other experiments, but this one just takes a nice 5 volt power supply. So, if we go over to our TV, I've got it muted here, let me just unmute the TV. We can hear our nice tone going there. And as I go and press keys on the keyboard, we can see the key, we can see the light light up. If I go to different keys, you can see different lights go up. We can hear different tones going too. So, pretty cool.